Hey guys. So I, I don't really know where to start. I'm probably going to end up rambling and this is probably going to end up being, uh, I don't, I don't really know. Uh, however long this video is. Hello. Hello. Thank you for just watching this. If you even care, I know it's been a long time. I know I said I wanted to be more consistent and upload basically once a week. And I was doing that until, uh, things kind of started unraveling and got out of control. So if you guys remember at the beginning of the year, um, let's see, I guess the beginning of the year, I wasn't really playing MW2. I wasn't really playing anything. I was working a full-time job and all that stuff. And I, content had kind of gotten away from me. I was working a full-time job and I was also editing for Jack the Bus on the side, shout out Jack. And during that entire time period, I was trying to make different kinds of content to see if I could get my foot in the door somewhere else because Obviously, Call of Duty wasn't cutting it for me anymore. Uh, I was trying to open cards. I was trying to do anime reactions, all this other stuff. I bought an entire case of One Piece cards to make a video on it. I was just trying to make different types of content as well. I was trying to find some type of passion again to make content. Because honestly, the past couple Call of Duties, MW2 and Vanguard, and I guess the slight end of Cold War, just like I just wasn't feeling it. Uh, and it also has to do with me getting a full-time job as well and just being exhausted. I also tried to take a different direction and tried to upload type of sound design content on the channel, but I don't know, man. It just I'm just not passionate enough about those type of things to make videos on it. I can do it outside of making videos. Like I can work on sound design and do that type of stuff for fun. I just love doing that. And if I got a job doing that, I would love to do that because that's something that I really love to do and I'm passionate about. But making content on that type of stuff is just something I, I'm not really interested in. So I've been experimenting, basically. I've been trying to find out what I want to do as far as content or what I, I, I don't know, like just, I don't know. I've just been in a rut, stuck for a couple years, I guess. And mainly this past year was kind of me trying to find out what I wanted to do. So then that was like the beginning of the year. And then I guess around March or April, I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to come back. And I'm going to make content the way I used to make content, which is funny moments, having you know, just a good comms and just having a, a cool commentary and just kind of vibing with whoever's watching still. Um, that lasted all but like three weeks <laughs> because uh, my full-time job laid me off in April. So it was about like two days before my birthday, full-time job laid me off, said I had until May. And that kind of just, I don't know. It kind of just, it blew me basically. Knowing that I won't have a job for long and trying to make content on top of that, it's just kind of like, eh. Especially when the state of the channel isn't the best. If I was hitting certain numbers and certain statistics on YouTube, uh, then I really wouldn't have worried about it. But because I'm not, and because I wasn't, I, I just said, you know, it, it just got me down. And I kind of just basically stopped uploading. I was like uploading every week consistently. And then um, I kind of like dropped off. I uploaded May 22nd, and then I didn't upload until June 19th. And that's just like, you know, it's like around the time when I kind of found out that I was getting laid off and I knew that my time was coming to an end and I was trying to find a job. Um, and then in the meantime, also during that whole entire, I guess, debacle, I started playing other games. I started playing like Spider-Man PS4, Zelda, Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, all these other different games. And I was just kind of like, you know, taking a break from COD, basically. Like I've been playing Call of Duty since I was... 14, 13, something like that. Since World at War, I took a two year break with Ghost and AW, and then I came back for BO3. And then I played all the way until Cold War. And then, I, you know, the games recently haven't been very fun. So I was just like, you know, I just didn't care enough about them. And I felt like making this video because I feel like you guys, uh, I feel like I owe you guys a response. You know, people have told me, like, you don't really owe anyone an explanation. But at the same time, you guys have been here supporting me for so long. I just feel like I owe it to you guys because you guys have given me so much. So after I was finished with my full-time job and I was pretty much let go, I started editing videos uh, full-time for Jack the Bus and Dismo started kind of coming around and being like, yo, here, like, can you edit this video for me? And I know a lot of you guys know that Dismo and I are cool and like Dismo's huge in the COD community. So, you know, I was like, yeah, of course. So I did a few videos for him during the summer and when MW3 rolled around, he was like, look, I think I want to hand off videos to you for the most part. And he was basically like, if you're down, I want to work with you during mw3 and i was like yeah sure for, I, of course so i've been editing most of dismo's videos for the entirety of mw3 so far 
and it's been a blast like this was awesome to work with great dude and i hope you guys have really enjoyed the videos if you guys have watched his videos and i think it's going to stay that way going into 2024 and throughout the mw3 life cycle and in the midst of all of this my go xlr went up so i had to get a new roadcaster duo which is awesome road like road has outdone themselves with this with this mixer man it's it's awesome it's uh you know i got dismo to get one too and it, it's just a great device and if you're looking for something to use as a streamer i definitely recommend the roadcaster duo no this isn't sponsored this is just me like you know geeking out about like audio equipment and things like that and then finally during the summer i came up with an idea to kind of help smaller streamers or any streamers or content creators with their audio and basically um come this upcoming year starting in january i'm going to be helping people with their audio and doing all this other stuff and um basically getting like their stream audio and video audio all nice and neat and cleaned up and sounding really nice and i'm super excited for it. it's called dr boom if you guys want to go follow that on twitter we have an announcement basically the announcement's coming out uh, probably tomorrow uh, if, if this video goes out on the 31st it'll be either the first or the second i can't lie bro like i've been i've been playing a lot of mw3 i almost have interstellar and i have borealis unlocked and i have like 35 weapons gold for bioluminescent like i've been grinding mw3 and it's been really fun because my friends have also enjoyed the game too so you know we i've been playing with them and it's just been a blast to play to be honest however i don't really know if content is what i want to do for mw3 i've kind of just been chilling off stream playing it and just kind of enjoying the game i'm doing a lot of different things now and i just don't i'm not saying that i'm leaving forever i'm sure i'll post another update video some other time in the future but but yeah you guys will see me around if you guys want to keep up to date with me you guys can follow me on twitter instagram all the other stuff i just want to say i appreciate all of you guys that have stopped by over the years and i appreciate all of you that still watch the videos even if it is just like an update video like you know it, it means the world to me still so you know i don't want you guys to think that i forgot about you my um my mental health has been really bad this past year but i'm trying to get better and i'm you know trying to you know look at the positives and a big shout out to jack and dismo for giving me work basically and uh, you know letting me work with them full time when i got let go of my job thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys made it all the way through i just know that i love you and i appreciate you goodbye